Taxis all over Europe went to strike uh, last Wednesday, June 11. I think it's interesting to analyze what's going on in the world of taxi when we relate it with digital transformation. One of the main phenomena of digital transformation is what we call the increase of digital density. Digital density has three ingredients, the number of connections, the number of interactions, and the amount of information we can exchange through these connections. Digital transformation is basically affecting industries where the product can be digitized, like music, books, television, or video. However, we are starting to observe this phenomena in traditional business, like is in the case of the taxi. To hail a taxi in a city for many years has been a very analog and a very anonymous experience. There are new applications all over Europe that facilitate now the contact between the driver and the consumer. Many of these apps are still basically operating under the regulation of city councils. So the amount of cab drivers that these apps are using are limited and regulated by city halls, and also the fares that you are going to pay in the meters are also regulated. Recently, Uber is going a step further in this digital density increasing in the taxi industry because it's not only using uh, yellow cabs or, you know, official uh, taxi drivers, also has the opportunity like, to put in contact any person with a driver's license and with a car and also with a phone. So every person can become now a taxi driver. And this basically is creating a big disruption because the limitations that we have before in the capacity of the number of taxis and also the fixed price in the fare disappears because now the fare is a function based on the demand and the supply. If you are trying to get a cab during New Year's Eve or during a snowstorm, the fare is going to increase. If there is not such demand, then the fare is going to decrease. Obviously, this is creating a big uproar basically in the incumbent, basically the cab drivers. But we need to think about that beyond all the issues of regulations and security that for sure are going like to be involved in this new kind of peer-to-peer -peer business, sooner or later we need to think how these businesses are going like to appear in this situation. It was very interesting that recently Uber got a valuation of $18 billion. Uh, his founder, the CEO, uh, Travis Kalanick, uh, was asked where he thinks this uh, business model can go when digital density is going to increase. Let's think, for instance, in cars without drivers. For instance, Google has this uh, driverless car. So imagine a situation that we don't even need like, to have humans as drivers. We're going to have basically the taxis or the cars are going to be basically robots that they're going to send to the consumer. So obviously these kind of scenarios today can sound like science fiction. But obviously, as digital density are increasing, many and more and more traditional and analog business models are going to be disrupted. <laughs>